Welcome to Mega Aquarium. We are doing the sandbox mode. The sandbox mode has a lot of options here. You can just change all the settings, make it as hard as easy as you want. If you just want a relaxing you simulate away, you're not going to be too stressed with some of the missions and some of the problems, then that's the game for you because it's really got those options. It's got a lot of things that make you enjoy it for novices. Say if your children want to play this game without getting too stressed out with all the fish dying. It's got that setting. If you want a proper challenge, proper sim, hardcore or medium difficulty, this is definitely the game for you. There's lots of things to do. Of course, all the equipment you can unlock and of course you can build the actual aquarium to as big as you want it to be. You can keep it like this or you can make it absolutely huge. Placement of tanks is, well, easy enough. You've got like war tanks, U-shaped bend tanks. Of course, you have the uh, large tanks like sharks and things like that. And you can mix and match and just kind of experiment and practice really. I mean, this is even telling you what's missing and what needs to be added to your uh, aquariums to make all, you know, all the tanks to make them run smoothly and avoid any issues with uh, the livestock when you add it. Lots of decorations, lots of cool little additions to add to these little tanks and large tanks, of course. Larger tanks will obviously contain things like squid and the deep tanks will have like shark and things like that and eels and you can really mix and match in this game. You can have a look around and just decide which decorations will suit the tank, rocks and things like that obviously for lobsters and crabs because they like all that sort of stuff and you know crayfish and god knows what else you know maybe crustacea but there are a lot of little decorations like this they can use i don't want to put the skulls there but i'll definitely be decorating these little tanks a bit more just to make them a lot cooler looking there's some pretty decent decorations i thought it actually would be more but there's you know there's enough here but i hope there's more added in the future it just feels like you could have, have a lot more interesting things of course you can add coral and all that so that's pretty cool it's not in the decorations part but it is in in the game so you really have to place these things in the right places so they look pretty decent but yeah and then you can add all ragweed and stuff like that you know normal typical animal and plant life that will thrive in this little tank and kind of mix and match them really but of course you've got predators so it does give you the warning like a death's head above that fish if it's uh, going to be predatory towards other smaller fish or crustacea crabs and stuff so we'll see some uh, some of your little additions to the tanks will turn on each other so you've got to be very careful, you might have to just segregate these uh, these uh, fish, you know. You know, you wouldn't mix squid with small fish because they'd, yeah, they'd be, the fish would be dead. This is cool by me, I don't mind. I like to see them taking each other out, that'd be good if you can zoom in and watch that. Makes the game more interesting. What is really nice is everything is so simply laid out. Not just the information on the tank, but information on the species, the animals, the plants, decoration, everything's explained to a reasonable amount of detail. Okay, so I've got my staff. I'm going to be opening the aquarium up very soon. I put in drinks, feeding stations, and the yeah, drinks machines like coffee, pop, or soda. Toilets as well, bins, ice cream machine. And I'm just checking each tank. I can when I open I'll just fix the tank really quickly to make sure that the livestock doesn't die. So really just have to gotta really make, definitely make sure that nothing dies in here. I've got all these pretty decorations and they look great. And of course the customers I love all that. It gives it prestige and makes the tank look really epic. Just, uh, it's a bit messy. I've really got a lot to learn about 
placement. <laughs> oh dear. So temperature, not enough power being provided for both. So yeah. I'll take a little bit of tweaking this. Definitely. So we're gonna see what happens when we open up. I don't even know what livestock to put in here. Maybe lobsters or I don't know yet. I need a bigger tank for sharks and stuff. I mean this game dropped. I've had this game about just over a week and I just haven't had time to go on it. My son's been hogging it for ages. He's really been playing a lot of it. He really enjoys the sandbox open mode like this. This is unlimited money and everything like that. Everything that's fun in the sandbox game is when you can just spend all the money. I know it makes it a lot easier. You gotta give yourself some chance, so I'll probably replay this gameplay again, or well, sandbox again, and make it bigger. While it's getting late in the day, I'm gonna leave it here, and I'll let the rest of the gameplay speak for itself. It's a bit of fun. Got a lot to do, so I'm gonna do it real quick. So, although I've got these people come in, they're not enjoying the prestige of this aquarium, so yeah, probably staring at some empty tanks, so I've got to sort that out. So hopefully next gameplay will be me with a successful, from scratch, aquarium. But we'll definitely do the aquarium a little bit different to how I've done it here. It's, it's just a mess and I've just kind of, kind of rushed it. But you know, it is fun. Look at all those things I have to get. That tank is seriously lucky. But that one's pretty good, just the temperature. Has to be fixed, so it's 90 out of 126. Well, I'll well, just sell some stuff because I need rocks. So, that's, oh, Christ, equipment everywhere, it's crazy. There we go, perfect, that fixes that. Well, thanks for watching, I will be back. I'll solve all these problems, or I'll just give up and just start again. <laughs> One of the two works for me. Until then, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and yeah, check out the rest of the gameplay, more than welcome to it. I will see you soon.